What's up guys and welcome back to another eBay miniature rescue. I'm Casey and this week we're going to be working on Sail the Faithless. So a couple months ago I picked up this Sail the Faithless and his Night Maw, the Demon Minion, for $20 on eBay. It was missing the top of his staff, the snakes that go on top. Um, so I decided to put kind of this like footed green ball on there and we're going to use green stuff to sculpt some tentacles that are just going to come up out from his hand and wrap around that ball. So when it comes to green stuff, I would definitely consider myself a novice when it comes to sculpting so you know doing the best that I can here wrap around the tentacles make it look like it's at least somewhat seamless around the base of it and then move it into the other tentacles on the hand and then I'm gonna put this one kind of coming up through the bottom of that and just wrap it around so you can hold I have a little uh, plastic scroll that I want them to be holding So I waited for the green stuff to set up a little bit. Um, I also added a spinal cord and then wrapped another tentacle around under that skull just to kind of even out that weight distribution so it wasn't like super one side heavy. Um, but I, I put the scroll through the tentacle and it turned out pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with it, surprisingly. Starting with Vallejo Surface Primer White, I'm going to go over all of the green stuff, the new plastic, and I'm just going to give a really light coat to the rest of the model. The prime job that was done on this previously was actually pretty good. I'm pretty sure it was done with an airbrush, but I removed some of the mold lines from the, the horns on the head and kind of cleaned up a few other things. So I just need to make sure that everything is sealed in properly with this first coat. Using a 50-50 mix of Abaddon Black and Magic Blue, I'm going to paint in with the airbrush a uh, shadow layer over most of the model. Dumping out what was in the pot of the airbrush and adding magic blue. So kind of cleaning out a little bit with water, but leaving some of that in there to mix with this pure magic blue. Um, I'm going to go over a lot of the higher points and kind of the focal areas where I just want that to be brighter, especially on the cloak. That's going to give it a lot more dimension. Jumping off the back of that mix that we already have, I'm going to add probably two parts more of this red to get a dark purple. And that's going to blend in with our dark black shadows just to give something other than black. It's going to look nice. It's kind of zinchy. Um, I'm also going to use that on the tentacles. Coming in with Moot Green through the airbrush, this is where things get pretty interesting. So I decided that I really like to try and do a serious OSL effect. So I'm starting from within this orb that all of these tentacles are wrapped around and I'm going to sweep that across the model as the light would hit theoretically like through the tentacles and you know behind his head that kind of thing. So hopefully it turns out I think we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Using Minoth White Base, I'm going to pick out any of the parchment and any kind of rope on the model. Using Screamer Pink, I'm going to paint in the tentacle under the skull. 
and then I'm going to water it down and just glaze in some of the shadows using that deeper pink into the other side underneath the OSL. So far, I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out. The OSL looks pretty good to me so far. I think I think there needs to be a little more variety, uh, like more lights and more darks. So from here on, it's going to be a little bit of a battle going back and forth between several of these different colors to get that proper effect. Using Abaddon Black, I'm going to glaze in some of the darker shadows underneath pieces that would be hanging over that light is kind of spilling over but not really um, mainly focusing on the robes Using Screaming Bell, I'm going to go over all of the, I guess you would call it filigree and small adornments on the robe itself and just paint those in as a base coat. With Abaddon Black through the airbrush, I'm going to hit the helmet on the front side just to set us up for a few different things down the road. Um, I'm also going to hit it with Menoth White Highlight, there it is, and just kind of put a little bit of white just on that eye piece to make sure that whenever another color goes over that, it's as bright as it can be. I'm also going to come in on the undersides with Menoth White on the cape and do a starscape because I figured, why not? This is a cool Zinchi sorcerer model and stars are pretty rad. And this color scheme kind of fits with that, like the, the purple and blacks and blues. So I turn the PSI down on the airbrush to almost none. So when you pull that trigger back, nothing comes out and then as soon as you let go, it kind of just spits out globs of paint. Then I come back with the brush and just drag lines over the brightest spots that ended up showing up and just making little star patterns all over the cape. With Reichland Flesh Shade Gloss, I'm just going to hit all of the brass that we did earlier. Using Kerberg Crimson mixed probably 30% wash to 70% water. I'm going to go over some of the starscape on his cloak, or I should say his armor. Um, the white got a little bright there, a little too much came out. And this is something that you can do to dull that back into the background and then just paint the dot in the center white again. I also went through 
and went over some of the tentacles to kind of bring those glazing and the original purple together a little bit more. So at this point, he's looking pretty cool. I think the cloak's coming along nicely. The OSL needs a little more work, and I think that we need to get a little more pink in there. So using Screamer Pink through the airbrush, I'm going to hit his helmet to just bring in a little bit more of that pink and tie that in a little bit more, and the undersides of the tentacles are just going to get a quick hit. With Moon Yellow, I'm going to hit the top of the ball and that kind of source for the OSL, and a little bit of the tips on the back of those horns and on top of his shoulder. We're going to take Escorpina Green and go over that. And what that's going to do is going to maximize that kind of ethereal look. So it's going to have a little bit of that yellow showing through, but it's going to be that, that kind of washed out green. And that's just going to brighten the tips up for everything. Adding a little bit of Menoth White into that, we're going to do the extreme tips and just highlight everything to give us the maximum gradient that we can from that bright green down to his cloak. So I've been looking for a Sail the Faithless for a few years now. And I finally found it for the price that I want. And I'm super happy the way that it turned out. The main goal for me on this model was to make it look like a ridiculous Zinch sorcerer that I could kind of use in a variety of Chaos Armies. So you've got the pink, you've got the the blues and purples, and then you've got kind of the green thing going on. So you could kind of put it in with a lot of different armies. And either way, in whichever army, this should stand out on the table and I'll always just be able to look down and know that's exactly where Sail the Faithless is sitting. So thank you again for joining me on another eBay Miniature Rescue. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And join us over at the Facebook page, post your works in progress, your rescues, whatever you got going on, at facebook.com slash eBay Miniature Rescues. Don't forget to leave a comment, tell me how I did, and I will see you in the next video.